Gusto, I really want to help you, but you got to tell me what's going on. Why do you have to leave Port Charles? <sighs> what is so important that you have to fly to Los Angeles tonight? I don't know. Langston wanted to tell me. That's why I'm so worried. She didn't say anything. She had to have said, said something. She didn't tell me anything. She said that it would all make sense once I got there, and I need to get there right away. <sighs> Okay, I'll, I'll throw a few, a few things in a bag and we'll take a cab to the airport. Michael. But we, there's no point driving ourselves. We don't know how long we're going to have to Michael, leave our car. Michael, you can't come with me. Star. Star. Hey. Star, open up. Dad, what's going on? How could you? How could both of you? I was pretty clear with Carly right from the beginning that I was a horrible person, okay? Maybe I didn't go into the specifics, but I was pretty clear about the general picture of me being a rotten human being. And you know what happens? Okay, when everything blows up and it comes out that I switched a couple of babies, she's mad at me, and do you know why? Because I didn't trust her. Because I didn't have the courage to tell her the truth from the beginning. She said if I'd had the guts to do that, she would have stood by me. That sounds like my mom. Yeah, the one person in the world. Who is it trying to change me? Who is it lecturing me about being a better human being? We're finally free. There's no secrets between us. And you know what happens then? She dumps me. Because of AJ? No. Because of me. So in the... Ch Carly said that we would destroy one another. That we were both so afraid to love that we would push at each other and push and test and test until one of us finally broke and then one of us would leave. I can't really speak for you. Well, but, I can. But as far as my mom goes, she's the strongest person I know. She doesn't back down from anything. Well, then why is she doing this? Because she finally figured you out, Dad. Deep down, you can't trust anyone that says that they love you. You have to prove that they're lying, right? You have to do something so terrible that they turn their back on you. Is that what I've done to you? Did I finally push you away for good? So do you I'm sorry that I kept a secret from you, because I did. I knew that Johnny had killed Cole and killed Hope, and I should have told you about it. I just... I hurt your feelings. And, uh, you're the one person in this world that I really want to see happy. And I decided that the moment that I first laid eyes on you, Star, I'd lay down in front of a train for you. So if someone killed me, you would want to know who did it, right? Yeah. So why wouldn't you tell me who killed my daughter? I screwed up, okay? I did. I, t I totally screwed up. And then I, I, I dug this big hole for myself, so I lied to try and get out. and just made everything worse. And I, I, I can't lose you, too. That's not up to you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I can't do this right now. I'm sorry. Wow. I have to go. Go. Where are you going? You're going to Los Angeles? And you have no explanation. Just that it's important. And we run away to the airport. Michael offered to come with me, but I was trying to tell you that you can't come with me. I want to support you. I know, but AJ and ELQ need you right now, and I don't know how long I'm going to be gone for. No, I don't care. You have no idea what you're walking into. It's okay, into. kid. I'll take it from you. What? Do you have a ticket? Do you have a plane ticket? Not yet. Because you were just going to go to the airport and what, hope for the best? It's Los Angeles, not Bora Bora. It's not going to be hard to find a flight. Well, I have a jet, and it's right outside, and it's running, and I'll take you. I'm on my way to Landview anyway. Why? Why are you going to Landview? Oh, Danny called. She's upset about something. Why, well, then you do have to go. Yeah, I do, and I'll drop you off first. Los Angeles is a little out of the way, don't you think? Look, do you want my help or not? Look, Dad, I'm sorry, but yeah. no. Yeah, what? Why are you taking his side? Well, it's only fair after all the times you've taken mine. Yeah. You know, for the son of a gangster, he's remarkably perceptive. Okay, Dad. Look. Yeah, whatever. I'm a horrible person. I'm a consistent disappointment. But I have a jet. And I'm having a really bad day. How about you just let me be your rich dad? I need... Okay. You can fly me on your private jet. Excellent choice. Is this your only bag? Yeah. Could you take it down to the car for me? Of course, I'm going to take it down to the car before you start. The plane's not actually parked out front. Michael and I have a little bit of privacy to oh, say Oh, yes, goodbye? no, of course, of course. I totally respect your privacy because I'm a great parent and I show uh, support and affection for all of my children. Michael, if you ever see your mother again, please tell her that I don't think I'll ever be back. Uh, okay, I'll tell her that she's got a great face. Really nice spot. 
You sure you don't want to just fly commercial with me? My dad does need to do this for me. Thank you for pointing that out. I miss you already. Okay, then let me come with you. I'll be back before you know it. All right, you better be. <laughs> oh, he's peeping already. He's my dad. I love you. I love you too. Back before you know it. I'm the next General Hospital. I want to talk to you about your friend Spinelli. Do you want to have a baby? Well, why don't you tell me what's going on with Felicia? I have no idea what I'm going to say to Mac about Frisco. This is my wedding. You're not invited. Oh, my God. Baby, can you hear me? 